Disease Influencing Agricultural Production Agricultural Production in Australia Australia is a major agricultural producer and exporter. Over time, a variety of agricultural practices have benefited Australia's ability to provide food and resources domestically and internationally. Over the years from settlement, farmers have had to adapt to the changing farming methods to create a profitable agricultural industry. Most of Australia's lands, about two thirds, is given over to farming production. About 90% of farmland is for grazing on native pastures occurring in arid and semi-arid zones. Australia's agricultural industry is divided into three main sectors, crops, horticulture and livestock. Cropping industries provide a significant contribution to the national economy as well as many regional communities. The grains and oilseed industry produces 35 to 45 million tonnes of grain per annum from an area from about 20 million hectares. The annual gross value of production is around 9 to 13 billion. Horticultural industries provide a variety of plant-based produce cultivated within Australia. Horticulture is one of the main industries of the coastal agricultural areas. Agricultural commodities from 2014 to 2015 identified that production of apples, olives, vegetables, tomatoes and onions increased significantly over that period of time. Livestock encompasses a variety of products. Livestock industries typically consist of cattle, sheep and pigs. The Australian livestock industry exports superfine wool, safe milk and pork to Asia and the Middle East. There is increasing demand for poultry as a result of domestic consumption. Disease in agriculture. Diseases have a detrimental effect on plants and animals and impact on market access and agricultural production. Diseases include microorganisms, disease agents, bacteria, fungi and viruses, infectious diseases, parasites and genetic disorders. Plant pathogens can be fungal, bacterial or viral and can damage plant parts above or below the ground. Identifying systems and knowing when and how to effectively control diseases is an ongoing challenge of farmers and government departments. Australia's freedom from many pests and diseases allow livestock producers to access a wide range of international and domestic markets. Some diseases can have devastating effects on the livelihood of relevant stakeholders in a supply chain. To ensure the impacts on the economy and various communities are minimised, response-ready staff and systems are implemented to ensure an emergency animal disease incident is promptly and effectively controlled. For the causes and effects of disease on agriculture, we will just be focusing on plant productions. Causes of disease. The susceptibility of a plant to acquire a disease is dependent on a range of abiotic and biotic factors. Abiotic factors include nutritional abnormalities, which often show up as discoloration of foliage and is divided into two types, nutritional deficiencies and mineral toxicity. Pesticide exposure and improper use, which can cause serious damage to plants. Environmental pollutants, which can occur in the air, water supply or surrounding environment. Extreme weather conditions, which can lead to plant injury, and high slash low soil moisture, which results from excessive watering, poor drainage or floods, which may cause plants to turn yellow and be stunted. Biotic factors include fungi, the largest pathogen group, which often presents itself as rot or mildew, bacteria, common diseases include crown gall and fire blight, viruses, which often are associated with insect vectors. The virus can only multiply in a living host cell and spread systematically throughout the infected plant. Viruses may be transmitted from infected to healthy plants mechanically, through grafts or contaminated propagating material. Viruses typically identify two symptoms, mosaics and leaf curl. Specific conditions must be present for biotic diseases to develop. There must be a susceptible host plant, the pathogen and environmental conditions conducive to disease development. These must come together at a given point in time. These condi conditions make up what is called the plant disease pyramid. Biotic diseases cannot occur if one of these pieces is missing. Effect of disease. Australia is lucky to be free from many of the world's most damaging plant diseases. These diseases are capable of damaging our natural environment, destroying our plant production and agricultural industries. And some could even change our way of life. 
the effect of disease on the agricultural industry would dramatically influence Australia's economy. This could create a knock-on effect from the initial farmers to production factories, shops, and then the consumer. Australia's biosecurity systems help protect us from introduced plant diseases. Biosecurity is about protecting Australia's environment from diseases. It includes trying to prevent new diseases arriving and helping to control outbreaks when they occur. With the constant threat of disease infection, it is essential for farms, regardless of their size, to establish on-farm biosecurity measures. These measures include keeping accurate records, purchasing and using non-contaminated fertilizer, managing water supplies, and having clear procedures for new plants and animals entering the farm. How, as a consumer, will I be affected if a disease outbreak was to occur in the apple orchards of Queensland, resulting in trees affected by apple scab?